Welcome to Crime, Time, Grime. Outraged. Five day suspension. The Tyree Nichols case. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for the purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. This video contains the creator's opinions, comments, and allegations for the purpose of education, comment, entertainment, and criticism. It is not to be misconstrued as facts. I am truly outraged. These two Shelby County Sheriff's Office deputies were suspended for five days without pay Wednesday, February 15, 2023, after the death of Tyree Nichols. An administrative investigation found that deputies Jeremy Watkins and John Tavius Bowers violated SCSO regulations during the traffic stop that led to Nichols' death. The investigation found Watkins violated four regulations including radio communication procedures, mobile video recording system procedures, patrol field job duties and responsibilities, and operational responsibility of daily activity log. Bowers violated three regulations including radio communication procedures, mobile video recording system procedures, and patrol field job duties and responsibilities. Our investigation was thorough and complete. I am satisfied that the discipline given to these deputies is appropriate and just. We must continue to maintain the highest standards of excellence for the citizens of Shelby County through service, integrity, and accountability, said Shelby County Sheriff Floyd Bonner. The Sheriff's Office said they currently believe that the deputies will not face any charges. So. Shelby County Sheriff Mr. Bonehead is satisfied with giving these two officer five-day suspensions, to stand around shooting the shit, and watching Tyree Nichols die. They failed to aid Tyree in any way. No. Five-day suspension is not enough. The corruption in Memphis runs deep. No wonder the five officers thought they could get away with killing Tyree. Further. Seven more Memphis police officers will be issued a statement of charges for policy violations in the case, the city's chief legal officer last week. And three employees of the Memphis Fire Department were also fired as a result of Nichols' death. However, on February 12th it was learned that all three employees are appealing their termination. It feels like all this is getting swept under the rug and forgotten about. Anyone else outraged? If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and comment below the video. And, please subscribe so you don't miss more content.